Good morning everybody, how are you guys doing today? I, I'm actually not sure if this is a brand new vlog or if it's a continuation of a vlog. So if it is a new vlog, welcome to the new vlog. If it is a continuation, thank you for watching so far. <laughs> the last three weeks has been absolutely crazy for us because we've realized that we're home for two weeks, or two more weeks until we leave towards the wedding. And then for the rest of the year, because we started getting booking confirmations for some more adventures over the year. After this two weeks, for the rest of the year, we're pretty much home for a further three weeks. So it is now now, what it's now June and yeah so we've just been absolutely mad prepping plus catching up on all the work we did from uh, from our recent Southeast Asia trip so we try to vlog as much as possible between it so thank you for bearing with us it just means that there's a whole bunch of adventures coming up however there is some fun stuff we're gonna be doing today but I'll let Jess explain that to you morning guys it is a very exciting day because I think today's the day that I am finally picking up my wedding dress I like how long ago Maybe in January with Cleo, I went and tried on a bunch of wedding dresses and I think I chose the one, except I've heard there are a couple of new dresses in stock now, so I think I wanna try them on first, just in case, but I think today's the day I'm gonna be bringing one home. Very excited, but I've decided, I know it's like a little bit unconventional, but I'm bringing Stephen with me because I feel like his opinion is, he gives me the most honest opinions and he's gonna tell me if I, what dresses suit me. I know it's weird, I just need Stephen's help. So he's gonna come with me for the wedding dress journey. Oh, little sneak preview. This is the wedding dress, but that's what you guys are gonna get. I'm not showing it all off. Okay, I thought I'd tell you guys a little story behind like the wedding dresses. It's super interesting. So we have been friends with Sophie. This is Sophie just here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> for so long. I think we'll say like- You I've, worked with her in year 11. Yeah, I was a checkout chick at Coles. <laughs> and so, so was Sophie. 2000 and Five and six. Two, yeah. 2005. So that's two years before me and Jess were even dating. And then we realized that Sophie has started, you know, her own business doing wedding dresses. And we had to come in and, you know, check, check them out. So this is her rack of wedding dresses. I'll I show you guys. Off for me. So you're the one wearing would you the like dress. To, would you like to? Well, I'll just show them a sneak peek because I don't want them to know what dress, but it is one of these dresses that's in the rack. She's chosen it. It's official. Ooh. But yeah, this is her room. Super inspirational. She just runs it out of her house. And yeah, we'll tell you guys more about it once. Once we come closer to the wedding, we'll give you guys all the details. So if you love Jess's dress, you can come check it out. But oh, it was really nice seeing Jess in her wedding dress. I know it's not conventional, but Jess really, you know, wanted my opinion. Yeah, and we discussed it. it for so long. We're like, can I come see it? But I'm not seeing her in the full makeup hairdo until the wedding day. But that was actually really emotional so you know it was really exciting but i'm happy we finally found the wedding dress i don't know if you guys care or not but this is what happens to your iphone battery when you travel through so many different locations and use a bajillion different outputs it looks like it almost exploded but i got a new one by the way new battery get excited guys guess what's happening steven's getting the chop it needs to be done i was gonna wait until just before we leave to the wedding but, but i think i'll still get another too, haircut it's getting too crazy like look at this you all agree. You do look relaxed. <laughs> we're just chilling. So we went up to the shops and we went to get some snacks because we really want to watch a movie and you need snacks for movies. But this is... Jess has become such a health freak that this is <laughs> as crazy as our snacks get. So um, I told him he's allowed to try kombucha. Guys, it's kind of maybe a ginger beer. I don't know. I have no idea. I've heard about it. People say that it's like good for your gut. Good like for your gut. Drink. It's like got bugs in it. Oh, great. Like, Thanks. Like yogurt. Okay, so it's got like the good probiotic stuff. I've never tried stuff. it before ever. Oh, it's fizzy. This, we got the ginger and lemon flavor. Have you guys heard of this? I don't know if it's like a new craze. Oh, you do Gingery? it first. Yeah, it smells really strong. You try it. Hey guys, this is my, hopefully my new ginger beer, but it's actually super expensive. So it's maybe like it'll be dollars. like a, maybe it'll be like a once, once a, a month. Week. Once a week, once ginger a week. beer. What's it taste like? They say it's like got a tiny bit of alcohol in it because yeah. it's fermented. Does it taste alcoholic? Mm, tastes okay. Pretty, pretty average. <laughs> pretty. It's because it doesn't have any added sugar in it. Yeah. It's not that bad, especially if you feel bad. like something fizzy. And then we got some hummus, hummus up in here, and then some rice things. <laughs> and I've got a sweet potato to make us chips later. When is crazy Saturday night? <laughs> Watch out. We're bringing this bad boy to get altered today. Got to get it nicely fitted. Woo! Okay. No, no, I think that, but that is where I'm going to wear the suit has been fitted and now we are taking our baby, our little baby, to the hospital because it is currently broken. So uh, she needs a, uh, a wheel repair. Broken Malaysia. So yeah. thanks to Malaysia. 
Mama Malaysia. Mama Malaysia. They grow up so fast. Don't worry, they'll give you sedatives. <laughs> Our baby has to do an overnighter, guys. Do you reckon she'll be alright? Right. <laughs> we need her. <laughs> so guys, there's been like a lot of finicky things we've been trying to get. So it's driving all around Perth. Like get the bag fixed, get my suit tailored. We're now looking for a wedding guest book. book. A wedding guest book. So people can sign, write funny mementos, take some pictures with the HB sprocket and put it in there. So we're going to Kiki K. Hopefully they have something nice there. Because that's the only kind of place I can think that will have wedding books. I have no idea. And we've left it too long so we can't order it online. Mm. Which was my plan. I totally forgot about it. So it's either guest book or love. Wait. Oh no, that's this like... Our story type thing. Yeah. No, I'll go for the guest book. One. Alrighty, we got the book and they also had a sale on stickers. That'd See, be nice. Yeah, I think that'd be really cute. So they can stick stickers in there, write notes and stick their photos in there. I actually can't wait to see how it comes together. Alright, shoe shopping for your suit. Yes. <laughs> okay, this is not working. Alright guys, I totally forgot to vlog. McClee and I just spent about probably two hours in a makeup store because for the wedding, Cleo and I aren't doing, um, we're not getting makeup artists to come and do our makeup and hair. We're gonna do it ourselves. So I just went shopping and spent a little bit of money. And now I have to tell Steven that I just went and spent a bunch of money on makeup, but I've like barely ever bought like high-end makeup before. And so I went all out and bought like a bronzer and a foundation and a highlighter and a blush and everything. And oh, I cannot wait to try it all out. I'm sorry, Steve. All right, I gotta go. Right where I left you, I see. How much of my money did you just spend on <laughs> wedding stuff? Guess who's back? No, no. <laughs> I've come to the cinema because it's Tuesday and it's cheap Tuesday, and we're going to go see Baywatch. <laughs> <laughs> Baywatch. And I wanted to show you guys something because I don't know if this is an Australian thing, but have you guys ever heard of chalk bombs before? Because it's the only reason I'm here. Mm. This is a chalk bomb. It's so good. This is the re only reason I come to the cinema. Guess who's come and joined the Chuck Bomb Club? <laughs> I'm now <laughs> I'm now home and Steve, you missed a real good movie. Yeah, apparently so. <laughs> <laughs> did you enjoy your chalk bombs? I know you got a chalk bomb, don't lie to me. Yes, I got a chalk bomb. Which one did you get? Honey macadamia. Was it good? Yes, it was very good. I've been chilling here. I oh, know, this whole time I came home and Steve, I was like, what have you been up to? And I saw an empty plate. I was like, what did you have for dinner? What did you have? Tell them. What? He had an entire pizza to himself. I can't just let it away. And he was just playing this the whole time. Hey, I'm relaxing. I've been working to hard work. Oh, Billy. I miss <laughs> no, Billy. Billy. Bring no. Billy back. No, Billy ain't come back. <laughs> Billy ain't come back. A little boxes on the hillside. A little boxes.